Hello everyone, this is DA from eAcademy and today this video is about the hahn banach theorem of the functional analysis in the real space and this is the first part in which we will discuss the statement of this theorem and we'll understand what is in the statement and then hopefully in the next video we'll see what is the proof of this theorem. So let's talk about the statement of this theorem. Before talking about the statement of this theorem, I will discuss discuss what is meant by the extension of a function and what is meant by a finite function. So first I talk about what is meant by a finite function. So if P is a functional here and V is a linear space that is defined over a field F and to that field F. So we have a functional P from V to F. This P or this functional is said to be a finite functional if all of the images of the elements that are taken from that V is also finite. So this is true for all X in V. So this functional is said to be a finite functional if all of the images of the element X that are taken from V is also finite. So the other thing is the extension of the functional. Here we have V a linear space u is a subspace of that linear space v and f is a field a function f is defined from v to f and this is a functional here so a functional f is defined from v to f and another functional let's suppose f naught is from u to f so both of the functionals are linear functional because if it is a functional then we can say that it is a linear function if it satisfies the two properties of being linear. You are very much familiar with the properties of being a linear. So I'm not going to discuss the two properties of being a linear. So again, we have a linear space V. We, we have a subspace U here that is also linear. We have a field and we have a functional F from V to F. We have another functional or linear functional. F is also linear and f, f node is also. So f node is a linear functional from u to f. Now this functional f is said to be the extension of the linear functional f node if f of x is equal to f of x node and this is true for all x in u. So if it is true for the values of x for the images of x when we are looking at from the f so f of x is equal to f of x naught for all x in u, then we can say that that f, the linear functional f, is the extension of this linear functional f naught. So I have to write f naught here, not f of x naught. So this is f naught. So f of x is equal to f of f naught of x. This is a functional that is the extension of this linear functional if this thing happens for this scenario. Now we will talk about the statement of the hahn banach theorem for the real space. So the very first thing in the statement of the hahn banach theorem is that P is a finite convex functional. So this is P is a functional convex functional that is from V to F from a linear space to the field. And the second thing is that P is finite. The third thing is that u is a subspace of v. So we are going to precise that field. That field is a real because we are discussing this statement in a real space. So, right, we have a functional f naught. f naught is another functional from u to u to f or u to r. We can also write it as here. So these are the four things right now. And what is the relation between P and F naught that is given in the statement is that F of X naught F naught of X this functional that is U to R is less than or equal to the finite convex functional that is from V to R for all values for all values that are taken from U so this is this five things that in a statement that let's suppose we have a finite convex functional defined over a space or we can say that it is a linear space and we have a subspace of that linear space u and 
right? We have a linear functional that is from u to r, u to f, such that f naught of x is less than p of x for all x in u. Now, if all of these things are here, then we can show that that there exists a functional f from v to r such that f is the extension of f naught and the second is that f of x is less than or equal to p of x for all of x that are taken from v so if we have these five things then we can show that we have an extension f from that linear functional f naught such that f of x is less than or equal to p of x for all values that are taken from the linear space v so this is the statement of the han banach theorem and we will discuss the proof in the next video so this is for now looking for most of the videos and you can subscribe to this channel you know to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye